Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and we're going to take a break from makeup today, but it's craft time, and we're going to make a hat organizer, so keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I know many of you guys knew that I love hats. And I have a lot of hats, but they're all just kind of crammed into a closet, like on a shelf, just one shelf. So as you see right here, <laughs> yeah, so they're all just stuffed in there. And I thought, hmm, maybe it's time to find another way to organize my hats. So I thought to create kind of like one of those um, hat strips and stuff like that. So and make a video out of it so that way we can take a break from makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> All right. So let's begin. So what you're going to need, you're going to need these like nylon kind of like belt material. Now I got these at Joann's which is kind of like a fabric and craft store and they're 40% off so they're like cents. They're like I think 69 cents. It, come out, it came down to about 69 cents so I bought a lot because I'm also going to make some uh, luggage straps you know so that way I can identify my luggage when I'm at the airport. <laughs> so I bought a bunch of that so these are really really cheap and they're good enough for what we're doing today. You're also going to need some D-rings okay so now your D-rings they look like this. Um, I got these again at Joann's and uh, they're pretty inexpensive they're two dollars and forty nine cents for a pack. Okay so make sure that the width of your band matches the dimension of the deal ring. So this is a one and a quarter, I believe, and these are one and a quarter, okay? So you're going to need a pack of those. Well, you know, it depends on how many strips you're going to be making. I'm probably going to make two, maybe three, I don't know yet. But anyway, you're going to need some deal rings. And then, of course, you're going to need some needle and thread, Okay, and if you have a sewing machine, better yet. You know, you can use that as well. If not, then you can use uh, needle and thread, blue thread, or better yet, if you have one of these basting guns, that will make this project faster than sewing things. So you can also use this if you have one. Otherwise, you know, the needle and thread will do the job just as good. And then, of course, you're also going to need a ruler to do some measurements and then you're going to need some hooks and I highly recommend monkey hooks they're called monkey hooks the kind that you pull the tab if you don't want it like in the place they put it up with, or if you tend to move things around like I do <laughs> so I kind of tend to uh, prefer the monkey hooks all right with the removable removable tabs and stuff so that way you know if I decide to move it later I can do that and then we're going to use a bunch of these clamp um, clips, paper clips, or binder clips, okay? So I have this one from Staples that I've been using, so we're going to use some of those. So that's all that you're going to need in this project, so let's begin. So the first thing you're going to need to do is measure the wall that you're going to put the strips in. So when I did my measurement, I'm going to end up needing about six feet of my strip material to hang on the wall and you're going to need to measure that okay so once you measure that and um, you know might not be the same for you it could be five feet you know seven feet eight feet depending on the wall you're going to put it to but for my wall it's going to be six feet so I'm just going to measure six feet of the uh, belting material that I got and then what you're going to need to do is you're basically going to attach a hook to one of the ends so you basically, I'm going to open this, okay, and this is where you're going to need your needle and thread or your sewing machine, whichever you have will work. So I'm going to open one of these, all right, so here's my D-ring, all right, and you're basically just going to wrap the material around the ring, okay, and then you're going to stitch that securely, all right, so that, that D-ring is the one that's going to hang on your monkey hooks later on. So this is going to be attached to the wall and that's going to hang right into that hook. And then what you want to do is find the other end, okay, and you also want to attach another D-ring to that. So that way you have one in the top and one at the bottom. Okay, so once you hang the uh, top end of your strip, you know, when you go down to the other end, 
all right, you're going to want to stretch that so that the other end is plushed against the wall. All right, so that way the strap is nice and tugged. All right, and then you just want to anchor that to the bottom part of the wall. All right, you can just simply use like a thumbtack or something of that sort to that. If you want to use another monkey hook, that's fine as well. It's up to you. But just make sure that the whole band or the whole strap is actually plushed against the wall. Okay, so the next step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to figure out how you're going to lay out your hats hanging from the strips. So I have a couple of hats in here. Now you can do them like on top of each other like this, but I think what I want to do is kind of like overlap them. So I'm just going to kind of position it the way I think I like it to. All right, and then you're going to flip it in the back and you're going to measure the distance between the edge of the first hat and then the edge of the second hat, okay? So like that, and that's going to be kind of like uniform throughout the strip so that the hats are going to be lined up like, you know, one after the other on top of each other. And like I said, this is something that you kind of set on your own, you know. You can do it like a little bit more apart like that. You can do it a little closer. You can do it on top of each other, so it's up to you. But for me, I think I'm going to go with, you know, a little bit of an overlap. All right, so I'm just going to measure that with my ruler. So this is when you're going to need your ruler, okay? And so for mine is three inches, the space apart, okay? So once you got your measurement, we're going to start using the little binder clips. So what you want to do is open them out to a position where you can pinch it and stuff. And you're going to place that right on top of your first strip. Okay, so here's my first strip, with the uh, D-ring. And I'm just going to stitch that right on the top, okay, just like that. All right, so you can stitch that using your needle and thread, or you can also use your basting gun, whichever you prefer, okay. And once that is secured right into the strip, you're going to measure from this part, okay, right here, because the hat is going to be clipped in there, so the edge of the hat is going to be about over there. So from there, down to the next one, which in my case, when I measured it, it's going to be about three inches, and that's where you're going to put the second one. Okay, so here's the strip. So I got my D-ring, and then the first clip, second clip, third clip, fourth clip, and so on and so forth. Okay, so all we're going to need to do is hang this to the wall, and then you can start adding your hats and uh, organizing them that way. Okay, so once you put the hats on the clips, it should look like this, and it should line up nicely. So just keep doing that to all the hats until you completely organize your hat, and that will sit against the wall, and it'll be nice and flushed. And every time you need a hat, all you need to do is just unclip one, and then make sure to put it back on the same clip you got it from. Alright, so hopefully this helps you guys who also have a lot of hat collection. And until next time, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.